time on JJ's Speed Shop, we broke it. Yep, there's a uh, sweet spot in between when you're giving it gas and you let off where there's no torque on something in there that's making a horrible rattle. Yeah, we tried to diagnose it and we thought it was coming from the rear end, so we rebuilt the rear end, put new carrier bearings, pushed uh, pinion bearings, axle bearings, reshimmed it, made sure the backlash is correct. And had then, a good hamburger bun on the backlash. Yeah, it yep. looked good and then realized that it was coming from the transmission, so we tried to change out the, uh, that, what do they call it, the tail shaft bushing in the back and put the O-ring on. That didn't fix it either. We were gonna film an intro like this time on JJ Speed Shop. We fix it and do like smoky big smoky burnout. burnout, really cool stuff. But no. it, yeah, we didn't. So uh, we'll not be going to Street Machine Nationals at Coin with this car. Yeah, but we got a couple backups, so it'll be all right. So what is it supposed to be? Eight to twelve. Oh, okay. Well, there's something. How how far down do you take this? We, we rebuild this tomorrow. We can. Okay. I mean, right, let's take the axles out. We can get a good. Let's pop the carrier out. Get, get a corner part. See what see what we got. And then stop there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ew. See the the okay. gears don't have really bad chipping on them or anything and then if you look at the the tooth of the pinion there's no chipping in there either and they look okay I know it might look a little weird on the camera but that's just oil coming off of it those teeth look good these teeth look good it's probably just mis shimmed so we'll take it out take a look at the bearings get pull the pinion bearing out we'll need a puller and uh, a big nut, whatever size that is, you know. You see it? That one. Take the big nut off and then get a jaw puller and pull this out, and then that's the one thing that holds that whole pinion gear in. And then these caps over here, watch your head. These caps over here, that's what holds your carrier bearings in. And we're, we're gonna. Move these down a little. Let me move it real quick. All right, you see the pin in here? That's what keeps your axle separated. So you pull the pin out and then you push the axle in. There's a C clip, looks like a little, like that guy, holds the axle in. And I'll, we'll show you in a minute. Oh, when they talk about a welded diff. These are your spider gears. That's what they weld. Hey, what does this sound like? I don't know. The Ecto Cruiser. the room. Outside is the storm. All the wheels, pontoon. Hey, <laughs> bellies are touching now so bad. You gotta. Okay. There we go. Okay. Well, just wonder how badly screwed you'd be at that thing. Come on. I can it off. But I could be rounded it off from here. That'd be bad. Oh. Um, rear end you're working on? Yeah. It would be drilling. Oh yeah, that would be that would be pretty bad. This is a Ooga Dooga. It's actually the M18 2767-20. It is it is badness. Watch. It like stops so it doesn't twist your ankle or wrist. See how it backs off and it doesn't. It doesn't tap anymore. How do it know?
Seriously, why is that? These are Cooper Cobra GTs from probably... Well, look at the date code. When are they? How old are they? Doug? Well, 37th week of 2012. Oh, ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you take the pen out and almost drop it? No. No, you did, you did all right. It's all good. Throw that net. And then Cover, too. Then wipe your hands on I'm Doug's Doug? face. Because that's what we want Doug to smell like, is dinosaur doo doo. Okay. All right, so now, come back down, and then you take the brakes off, then you're able to push the axles in, and you'll, you can start to see the C-clip, right? You get around to the side, ah, uh, not yet. Oh, we'll show you. Oh, there you go. You know, I don't mind it, but that light is a little bright. It is. It's a little bit, it kind of hurts. Hello. Hurts my face. Do you have a clip on the side? No. Bend for me, bend for me, baby. Where? There we go. I was seeing the sequence on you. Sorry. That's a little shattered. Yep, that one's no good. Maybe I didn't replace it. I, I thought I did. The bearing's fine. Yeah, we might want to get a new axle. That's pretty pitted. Gnarly. That's pitted pretty bad. I don't think we can just pull that out. Well, I mean, you can get axle savers too. It moves the bearing surface over. Well, these are the bearing caps. In our direction, right? Yeah. Outs, uh, arrows out always. And a, and a side specific. <clears throat> Let's see. Got it? Yep. Okay. What I mean by that is the arrows go towards the axle, goes out. We have a stand right here. All right. And I will. This, uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pull the shim. Okay, Doug, can you grab this shim and bearing cap? Hello, Steven. Fine. It's probably mm. pinion. They they wear out. Okay. And then where did you put the caps? The caps are over over on the table. Okay. Mm. Okay. You have left. I have Steve left. has right. I have left. So the bearing caps are side specific. I I don't know if they actually are. They're probably the exact same part. But it's like when you take main bearings out of an engine, you always put everything back where it was. Bearing caps. But the shims are important because you have your you have your ring gear, and then inside you have the pinion gear. So it's the little bolt in here. 
And the closer you get to the pinion, the less backlash you have. The further away from the pinion, the more backlash you have. So take the shims out where it was, so you have an <clears throat> initial reference, like if you're redoing the shims or whatever, you have an initial reference of where you need it. And there's supposed to be, you put it in, and you lightly have to tap them in. You're not supposed to bang on it, you're not supposed to, shouldn't be hard to come out, shouldn't really be that hard to go in. Lightly tap the shims and the caps in, and uh, lightly pry it out. This might be a little on the loose side, so we've got new bearings and shims coming tomorrow. But next we're gonna pull out the pinion and take a look at that bearing. And always check your magnets. There's a magnet up here. There's a if you have the fancy, there's a magnet down here. Just look for material. This is, you'll see a little bit. That's probably fine. Hey, give me a, can you get a flat blade? I don't, I don't want to push it all the way under my, my nails. My thin nails. That's true. That you care about to this. You want to dig that out. Just to give you an idea how it's going. That's probably bearing or ring material. That's not that's not terrible. There's not real big chunks. And the top one was clean and the mag plug really wasn't that bad either. We have a magnetic plug on the cover. That way the next time you pull the cover off and look at your rear end, you can check those and see how it's doing. slept today. I feel great. Then finally just off. That right here is your pinion seal. And then the pinion out. He's taking it out from the back side. Make sure the stack up is still there. There's a crush washer. That race looks good. Kind of low gear oil. Dinosaur doo doo. You ever see the, the vacuum cleaner? That's like my favorite line. It has that sound. I feel like you did show me that. It's, it's a vacuum cleaner doing like a line, sucking up a line, and it's like. <laughs> That's like, oh, it's, it's one of my favorites. So you're gonna. I'm gonna put those videos on my hard drive or if there's if there's time. Not these, the ones from last week. There wasn't time. Well, we don't have a smoking gun. It all looked good. That's a pretty bad noise when you let off the gas. You know, like a... Yeah. It sounded like a pinion bearing. Pinion bearing looks good. Gotta replace the bearings. Might as well. Set up backlash. Yeah, resham it. Well, the bracket we found over there is cracked. Well, we'll come back tomorrow. It's also beer time. Beer time. AMF. Let's go to the park.